Hello everyone, it's me Asamari welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you the editing of the photo which is the military outdoor portrait. So let's open up. I downloaded the photo from pixels.com and I'll provide you that stock image download link in a video detail. So this photo, today I'll edit this type of photo. This photo, nice photo but uh, you have to edit this one something just because of the colors and other stuff. So let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications controller command j for the new copy of this layer and after that filter and camera filter i do like to use camera filter for the editing just because of you are getting all the stuffs in one window and everything so after that from here i'll increase the vibrance that is 10 percent and the saturation five percent after that dehaze portion i'll make it 5 or uh, 10 is good okay and then the clarity only 3% texture 3% that's good and before and after after changing these two portion that means the texture uh, clarity dehaze and vibrance saturation you are getting far difference from the before and after after that blacks uh, i'll increase that is uh, 7 and the whites that is uh, seven the shadow increase that is five and the highlight i'll make it down that is minus 10 that's good and that contrast i'll make it seven and here 0.5 okay let's see now before and after huge change uh, you're getting like that and here minus three or plus three I think plus for this photo is good just because of the warm tone so three giving the three and here i'll give the tint that is minus three so when you are making it plus you have to make it minus this one is the common things to do okay before and after now i'll work with the face how to work with the face okay in this portion everything is good but in a dress you have to change the color and other stuff going to the hsl panel and the major color of the shard and other stuffs that is the blue color and increasing the hue of the aqua and increasing the hue of the blue and the saturation that is five or six let's put aqua five or six or uh, i think 15 that's good and all the thing is nice the face i'll make the luminance that is the intensity of the color i'll increase the face color that means the orange and yellow and the saturation i'll make it a little bit down that's fine uh, but red i'll increase a little bit and that's fine and the hue red that's good luminance i'll decrease the rate okay let's see the before and after okay nice and now work with the green color so hue of the green color let's see which green you want to prefer if you want to make the fall color you have to make the green like that and the orange like that and after that saturation will be like this and like this but i'll make it a little bit like that that's and the saturation i'll make this green saturation down yeah that's fine and that's good okay and then i'll go to the split toning from here i will add the highlight color and the shadow color and adding some saturation now i'll just sliding the highlight slider and which one you should pick up so I think that's good and the shadow color which should be the shadow color okay you have to choose i think in a highlight portion you have to pick up more color okay in the shadow portion that's good and now I'll go to the calibration portion and I'll make the calibration like this. The green, I'll make the green like this. Okay. 
and the blue primary i'll make the blue primary like this uh, okay that's fine in the hue portion i have to change it so i'll make the hue of the yellow that's like this okay a little bit nice in this situation i'll make it a little bit down that's fine from the split toning i'll tune this one a little bit like that and that's good and now i'll go to the that is the tone curve i'm going to the, going to the tone curve and making the tone curve like this so that's fine if i just take it yeah that's fine and the rgb tone curve i'll make the rgb tone curve like that okay and lock up over here let's see the before one and after one huge change and now i'll decrease the red saturation a little bit it will make more sense for the lips and the other colors so before one and after one you're getting nice effects now i'll save this preset and giving the name that is the man or like that and hit okay okay now i'll add another filter from the nick collection go to the filter and nick collection color effects pro 4 it will uh, help you out to add another preset from the preset panels that means the filters lots of filter bunch of filters in this panel so from here uh, choose from here the cross processing lots of method in this panel you can use one of them which one is perfect your photographs you have to choose or pick up so from here i think t01 is good and i'll make it like this and hit okay from here i'll decrease the opacity that's fine and from the adjustment layer going to the levels options and i'll control the color and other stuff so i'll make it like this and this so it's giving you the uh, clear in the photo so before and after you are getting the full editing process in this tutorial hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i am asmr signing out today bye bye